Hey there, my fellow miners and prospectors, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story. Episode 89, Ferris Finding. Walnut for firewood, not often you see that. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't turn into firewood would be oak or acacia. Everything else, whatever. It's not useful for tannins, so... It's too bad that I'm going to lose some daylight. Uh, it'd be nice to have more daylight. But oh well. Once we get to the trees, it's not a big deal. Just harder to assess them for uh, resin. Is what good? Walnut? So walnut, there's a few of... Uh, Piece, there's a few wood types that are like stronger in terms of she, uh, shields. I did forget my shears this time, but whatever. I, I did my due diligence um, planting. Oh, oh no! There was an animal that got stuck down here and just died. I did my due diligence planting uh, last time I cut trees down. This time it's all about firewood. Or random flax seeds that I just got. <laughs> it's funny how the wild flax is like doing just fine, but my very carefully cultivated flax in a um, in a greenhouse is dying. I have bred the least hardy. I've domesticated flax and made it pathetic. Made it made it weak. So I was, how much firewood away was I? I forgot to look. Uh, I'm gonna leave the oak alone because I'm will probably end up using it for tannins. Yeah, I think this is a big uh, maple tree. I was actually expecting more wood out of that, given how long it took to cut down. Only give me eight. Okay, I don't see any leaks. Four stacks away, four or five stacks away, something like that. I was, Drea, you're right. I was, I was close. I don't need to go overboard here. I want to get things done. Nope, that's a sound. Decent weight, too. Get back here, fatty. Get back here. Come on, fatty. This is probably the one I killed from that totem pole I constructed, if you guys remember. The, like, bear hunting totem pole. This is probably the respawning. Ooh, and there's a pear tree here. Maybe I should pay attention to like the bear fight rather than like admire the fruit trees around me. Stop running. You're just gonna die tired. I'm an angel. You're a bear. I'm top of the food chain. I'll prove it. Yeah, that's right. Angel beats bears. Also, for those that are wondering, um, in-game lore, you're an angel. I'm not saying I'm angelic IRL, I'm just saying in-game, I'm considered an angel. Oh, what the hell? Decent weight, my butt. You had one piece of fat on you? Decent. That ain't decent. Sorry. Got carried away, but seriously, what the hell? Uh, okay, where's my pear tree? I was more excited about the pear than the bear. Hey, little pear. Oh, we'll go with like six stacks of wood just to make sure that I don't have to come back out here.
I may also want to rummage up some additional horsetail before I go uh, before I go out iron mining because I run out of healing items and inevitably drifters are going to be messing with me as I mine iron. Um, it might be a good idea for me to pull some of the lanterns I have in my base and bring them with me, marking down where I have the lanterns placed so I can put them back when I'm home. That way I can illuminate the areas around me as I'm uh, iron mining. So that I can stop drifter spawns. I, I, think, I think I'll do that. Oh, a micro ruin. And so close to my base. This means, um... Oh, hello. Uh, Galena? No, south right. Zinc. This means that this, um... Spot that I'm in is, uh, 1.19. So these, like, micro blocks, the fact that these aren't full-size blocks, is, uh is how ruins can spawn in 1.19, the latest update. Whereas before that, everything was a full full block size. So if you ever happen upon um, micro blocks like that, you know that they're new design, which is cool. Just bring torches? Yeah, I'll, you know, you're right. I'll just bring the stack of torches I have in my uh, tannery box. That makes more sense. So I do have a stack of torches kind of for that purpose. don't have any air gaps air gaps very very bad air gaps means you do not get charcoal you just get you get nothing good day sir uh yeah no air gaps very bad okay we are good Everything's covered by glass or brick. Cobble, I should say. Light this baby up. So we got our run of second run of charcoal, all of the kilns for all the bricks that we had. So putting stuff away and then going mining. Oh, I also want um, maybe to make some new bandages so I don't die out there. It's probably a wise idea. And grab my torches. And grab as many, much food as I can shove it in my face. Cheers. Oh, I'm out of, out of coffee. Top up the animal food not a bad call however i don't think that they would um i don't think that that's going to be an issue they're pretty well fed although there's a very fair chance they i i don't remember how long ago wow actually the troughs are quite empty so thank you for reminding me no i take it back you guys are overeating
little piglets you are. Hey, bud. The sheep are piglets. He kind of like looks like a baby lamb, doesn't he? Yoda, that is. All right, so I got my spare pick. Um, let's get more bowls of food. So I might need to make some food. Updating. Go Iron Man. I'll do a four portion meal here. Hefty soybean stew with soybean garnish. Yes. Lots of protein. You know what? Maybe I should do... Uh, I'll just do all six. Doesn't hurt. Because I think I'm probably going to go through an entire bowl of food before I'm really ready to go. Anyway. Grinding! My carrots are um, close to being done, sort of. Which is cool. Rot, not so much, but that does take a while. Um, grab those torches before I forget. So we can light up the area better and prevent drifters from trying to nibble on my sweet, succulent body while I'm out there. My clothing. Still in pretty good condition. The commoner shirt are actually heavily worn, so let's uh, repair that with the linen that I have. Because I, I, I also don't want to get, like, um, uh, hypothermic out there. So now everything, the minstrel hat is, could be in better condition, but I don't have the linen for it. But everything else is in pretty good condition. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't get too hypothermic. If I have to set a fire, I'll set a fire. Are pies a better food source? Um... Sadie wise inventory management wise yes they're more bang for your buck per inventory tile I, I guess um the reason I don't often go with pies is just more effort to make them I would need a table I would need to bake them and then also um uh oh wow that stew looks invisible I was like, did I not cook them? But it's just like invisible food. Okie dokie. But yeah, maybe maybe someday I'll I'll bother doing it. Man, that is that's really trippy. Okay, so I have a bunch of food. In fact, maybe what I'll do, because there's only 0.2 servings left in this bowl, is I will um, fill this with the stew as well. I was under the impression that that washes your bowl out. Uh, am I wrong? That seems like a bug. Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely it's a bug. Hey! Hey! Oh, you ran me. Leave her for 15 seconds? Okay. Uh, let's do that again. Uh, do I have any horse tail? Yes. I don't have a lot of cat tail, though. But eight bandages... No, I'm gonna get some... I'll, I'll, I'll get some cat tail. Ah, right, there we go. Now it's empty. Well, sort of. Let's... 
water. Yoda, can you stop barking? Okay. Uh, so a little bit more cattail, and then we're good to go. Getting this stuff midwinter is not fun. That's enough. We have 20 bandages. That seems well prepared ish. A stack of clay to compress stone? Um, that's wise. I dig that. Wait, where'd my. I just put my meal away, didn't I? And maybe uh, what I'll do is I'll take the new shovel, because my old shovel looks uh, like it's on its way out. So, 61 clay, we'll have to do. I feel like I have too much food. Uh, I'm going to put two of the bowls away and hope I'm not making a critical mistake. I'm just trying to save as much inventory space as possible. All right, let's go. So, Iron Mine was... Uh... I don't actually think it's there. I think it's near there, but that's a good enough um, POI. Stop trying to ram me, dude. I'm going to slaughter you. That's a good, uh, good enough marker. I'll unpin the other ones that I don't need going. It is very convenient that these lakes are frozen. I don't need to go around them. That was a real, um, that really slowed me down. Although they froze, I think what happens here is things only, if I was to speculate, things only will freeze, will like temperature shift within a certain range of your base. So like this is the like chunk cutoff uh, from where I live. And therefore, it was like, all right, well, the lake is frozen that is around you. But what is not around you is going to be in this weird state of will be frozen if you were closer to it. Oh, hello. Hello, pit of doom. Thanks for not breaking my legs today. I can't believe how little uh, fat I got off of that decent weight bear. I feel like if he was like brink of death starving, I would have gotten one meat or one fat off of him too. Hey, Whammy, how's it going today? And before people in the chat go, hey, you know, that one had like resin. It's like I, I'm far enough away from my home. I don't care what has resin. I'll stop you ahead of time. I'm not out here for resin. How am I feeling? Um, uh, that's a good question. I it, I could be worse. I'm not running from the wolves, like, I'd fight them. I just don't want to fill my inventory up with things I don't need. And at the moment, I don't need animal fat. Which is surprising, because up until this stream, 
I needed animal fat. But I kind of have all of my... Um, all of the mechan mechanisms in my base already hooked up. Um, so unless I want another health hammer, which... Oh! Native silver bits. Okay. Uh, what is it? Space bar for centering? Yeah. Let me make this a gray color. That's quartz. That's quartz. So there's a, a quartz vein under here that has some silver in it. Neat. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the nugget down. I, uh, I don't want to fill my inventory. I want it to be really exclusively hematite. So, yes. The difference of one silver is not a big deal. So I will dump it. Yeah, at some point, having the um, transmission and clutches would be nice to have so that I don't have to just knock out a piece of the axle. But those are kind of expensive. I'll, I'll show you the... So here's the transmission, which is a fat, two resin, um, two angled gears, and the angled gears are also fat. So it's three fat total for one transmission. And a transmission alone isn't enough, because then you also need a clutch which is two fat. So five fat per transmission and clutch. Um, yeah. So if I end up with like 15 extra fat, uh, I can transmission and clutch everything. Or I can just knock one axle piece out for no fat. So yeah, it's, it is a nice to have, not a need to have. And the game is full of that kind of stuff. Like, well, this would be aesthetic, or... So what are these marks? These are all sulfur marks. Okay. These are old prospecting markers. Oh, blue clay. Um, that I made pre-1.19. 1.19, although it wasn't feature-rich really put in some nice quality of life stuff like the new prospecting system which to be fair I believe really only helps you out if you are playing um, single player because you're still going to want to share your prospecting marks multiplayer I, I could be wrong about the finer points and details there but I think there's still a need for prospecting mods I don't think that they're shared. So where is the mine? The mining head is somewhere around here. I think... Where did I put it exactly? I made like a, a vertical ladder. Oh yeah, here it is. So let me uh, correct this because that is not my iron mine. Delete. The iron mine is here. Okay, down we go. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll put the dirt there. I don't really want dirt on me. Yeah, you had to add a mod to share prospecting data. That is correct. Good to know. Yeah, I don't play multiplayer. I'd consider it, but I haven't ever played multiplayer, so it's one of those situations where I like don't know the finer details about what it all entails. Maybe someday. So luckily, my iron mine is not um, deep underground, meaning that the enemies I am um, happening upon are not horribly strong. They're they're weaker drifters, uh, and I am gonna pop down some torches. To, to, I'm, I could turn on the, like, Drifter Spawner Overlay. But I'm going to keep it off. I'm just going to try to illuminate well enough that I don't get bombarded by BS. 
But the drifter spawner overlay would make it so that you could perfectly illuminate your, um, your mines. And if you had an insane amount of zinc for torch holders, or you had just a ton of, um, a ton of the lanterns, you could design it so that it would be annoyance free. No drifters ever bother you. Uh, but that's probably more effort than it's worth considering how infrequently I use this place and how inconsequential a few drifters here or there are. Because, you know, I don't think an occasional drifter here or there is going to, like, kill me. That does change as you go deeper. So I'm at elevation 69. Nice. Um, but if I was to try to get... If I was, like, near bedrock, where the deeper you go, the harder things get. If I was near bedrock, I might want to spend the, the time to illuminate it. So, like, if I was trying to get Ilmanite for tier 3 refractory bricks... Oops, I broke that torch. Um, it, then the f equation might change. Because... At really low elevation levels, things get uh, way different. Take the lantern off my offhand. Uh, the la so the reason I have the lantern in my offhand, I know it's making me hungry, but the reason to keep it there is like it illuminates further than the than the um the torches. So if I forget to place torches, it uh, it keeps drifters off my back, like spawning right behind me. Yeah, and strangely enough, I would like to actually have to eat a ton because I brought a bunch of bowls of food and I suppose I could dump them in water to compress the, the bowls, but I would rather, uh, I'd rather just eat it. You're guessing my hematite ring got pruned? Uh, maybe. It's possible my hematite ring got pruned when I pruned everything. Um, it depends on where the chunk barriers are. I really... I, I, I could turn on the wire mesh to figure that out, but I'd rather just, like, mine and not worry about it. I already have, like, a, a very nice amount of hematite. Um... I'm trying to think what my ratios are. Like, how much actual hematite do I need? The, the thing is, like, I might as well just spend some time and... spend as much time as I can and run out of insanity. Or run out of sanity. Run out of insanity. Run out of sanity. So I'll probably just mine until my sanity wheel needs me to leave. But that's probably... I'm gonna guess it's gonna be way more iron than I actually need for the steelmaking process. Um... But extra iron's a good thing, because then I can just make another batch of steel after the first batch, or make iron tools, or make a, another coke door. Uh, in fact, I think uh, uh, if I do have extra iron, besides the 16 bar bare minimum required to make steel, uh, a coke door is very high up on my list, just so that the, um, the furnace is attractive. Or double coke doors, because I, I, like, I like them. I must see, say there seems to be a pretty good amount of hematite. Like I'm trying to go around the perimeter of the node and there's a lot of it. I haven't really found the edge yet. I haven't circumnavigated it. So you were right to worry on approach that it would be possible that um, that refractoring my world, doing the DB prune regen, could have really ruined this, doesn't seem to be the case. Fortunately. And in a second here, we should be 
uh, break in this pick, which is a good thing, because then we're going to be using a better one. My next pick is Meteoric, which is mine's faster. And all of the... All of the um, granite that I'm getting can then be used to build the sort of catwalk structure around the refractory furnace, because that will be a bit of a project of its own. Did the 24% native copper get pruned? I don't know. But I've never, I, I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a copper mine started. So if it did, it wouldn't be much of a loss because I've never bothered to go digging for one. Wow, this actually might be two rings together. I'm having a bit of a hard time visualizing what this looks like, but it does seem like I sort of hit a second area. Because it's, um, it's a few, it's like two or three lower and goes off in kind of a different direction. I could be wrong. Without like an X-ray mod, I'm, I I won't know exactly. One obvious tell would be if it was a different quality, because a single seam or vein will be of all the same quality. So if this was like plentiful or poor, like that's an obvious like. Oh yep, this is a different one. I'm glad in hindsight that I made the meteoric hammer because uh, there's going to be some smashing to do. One thing I'm surprised by, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think in order to make red color, you need cinnabar. Um, I haven't done any clothing dyeing in my playtest. Like, I know of the process, but I've never done the process just because it's not like a need to have for almost anything that a non-clothier would need to do. Uh, well, the reason I say I'm a, a slightly surprised is that uh, IRL, and here's a weird fact, IRL, in real life, uh, the reason barns are red is because stars make iron, and iron is plentiful in the, uh, in the universe. That's why barns are red. Because red paint is kind of the cheapest to mass manufacture because of the availability of iron. Because iron makes red paint. And the reason why, like, we think of royalty as purple is once upon a time, it was very expensive to make purple. It required uh, uh, crushed up... Uh, I believe it was shells that were like uh, super labor intensive to uh, to harvest. Same with like saffron. Yeah, there's some things that are just like super labor intensive. Like saffron, the spice requires a lot of labor and therefore drives up the expense. Can the pulverizer not handle iron? I don't believe it can. You need nuggets, not snail shells. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was snail shells that uh, around Phoenician. The Phoenicians, I think, made the purple dyes. Is that right? I've not taken a history course in decades, so apologies if I'm wrong. I haven't put a torch down in a while. But yeah, um, the TLDR is, yeah, red is a very common color for uh, older wooden buildings because of the how he's, how iron was a one of the most plentiful metals on Earth um, that was easy to extract and process and created iron, uh, red paint, iron oxide paint. There you go, little weird lesson 
of sorts. But look it up yourself, because I'm not a historian, so some details could be muddled. My brain is muddled. I think, um, what's my sanity at? 34? Uh, let's bring it down to 30 and then leave. So I probably don't even need to compress with clay. I don't, I have space for the stone. And yeah, uh, paint is really good for protecting wood from the elements. Keeps it from rotting and, uh, insect intrusion and things like that. So if you want, some woods, some woods weather well, but woods that don't should be painted. And most wood should be painted in that case. I can't think of a lot of wood that, like, you can leave out and it weathers fine. And some wood is notoriously bad. Like, pine really does not weather well. And gets really ugly. And Whereas, like, cedar weathers better. Yeah. Again, I'm not a carpenter. But this is what, what little of that I know. Well, my character is not getting hungry, like, at all. So what am I down to? 29%? Uh, let's try to collect torches and boogie. Knowing also that there's like tons of iron still here. Like, I don't know what percentage of it that I mined, but I feel like like half maybe or less than half. I don't even know. And I don't need all the torches. Torches are not too expensive to manufacture. I just might as well recoup some of them. How the hell do we get out of here? Oh, here. Alright, is this the out? Yes. Cool. Like, very little complications. Ran into two drifters. We got a pretty nice stack of materials. Iron is atomic ash. Yep. Well, like, kind of everything besides hydrogen is atomic ash to some degree or other, right? Technically. I don't want to get pedantic here, but... Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind, I've asked for no backseating, so if you could respect that, that would be great. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Twitch. And if you'd like to join my online gaming community, it also has a link to Discord, and the link to that can also be found in the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.